Hey, good morning. We are in Nashville. Really exciting stuff over here. I'm lighting this candle. I just got this candle off Revolve, you guys, and it is so good. It's like a pretty good size like compared to the coffee machine. It's like, I mean, we burned it all day yesterday and we still have a good bit. And it is eucalyptus and white sage. I'll link it. It's so good. So many house updates to show you guys. I kind of started unpacking the kitchen and stuff. We've got our little coffee bar, which I want to get some decor for these open shelves and such. But I got here two days ago and I just didn't vlog because I hadn't seen Dylan or Winnie in a while. And I wanted to just like enjoy their company. But we're in Nashville today. It's Monday. We're getting stuff done. I came home to these beautiful flowers from Dylan. He got these for me. So, so much to show you. I'm gonna make a coffee quick though. I, I, had a feeling that I, I first need to chug water. I'm so thirsty. Oh, so good. I need to go get some milk to make my uh, like espresso coffee drink. So I'm just gonna do cold brew today. Um, basically, if you guys are new, hello, my name's Rachel, and my fiance and I, Dylan, we just moved to Nashville, and he's been here for a while. He coaches college football. If you guys are new, stick around. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Um, we just moved here from Colorado, so we have a good bit of our stuff here, but we're still waiting on our pod to come with like most of our furniture, so it's just like a slow move-in process. Our pod comes in like five days from today, so that's exciting, but um, our couch did get delivered. I have a ton of like PR and like just stuff I've been ordering. I want to sit down and do like a huge haul for you guys, but coffee first. It's also Monday, so I need to get on my computer and do some emails, and then we'll do a little unboxing, but I just wanted to address the situation <laughs> what our life is because I feel like I've been all over the place. I was in Cabo, I was in Colorado, I was in Atlanta, I was in LA, but we live in Nashville now for good. We're not going back to Colorado. The house is done and on to bigger and better things, you know? I'm excited. I don't have any of my cute coffee cups with me. So I think we'll do... I really like this La Cologne cold brew, um, but I think I still prefer, are you guys focused? I think I still prefer the stock cold brew, but I know that that has added sugar, so like, you know. I also like wanna go out and try cute new coffee shops here because I know that there's so many, but it's like literally monsoon raining outside, so I was like, we'll just do at home coffee today. I'm gonna have a little smoothie in a little bit. We have no groceries yet, so thankfully I have smoothies and bowls and stuff from Daily Harvest, which I'm gonna show you guys because I'm so excited. And I have my blender with me so we can make a yummy smoothie. Okay, yum. All right. So I unpacked the kitchen a little bit last night. I can show you guys a little bit more later, but I'm really excited about our little coffee bar situation. Um, I need to get two more of these cups. They're from Crate and Barrel. They're like literally three bucks a cup. I can link them. I'm gonna get two more and set them right here. But then I wanna get some cute like espresso cups as well to set up there. And then I'm thinking like maybe like a vintage cutting board up here or like a big bowl or pot or something. I don't wanna do a ton of dishes up here because I feel like I want to like make it a little bit more decor. So this is like our little coffee station. And then over here on this side of the oven, I did up here all of our cocktail glasses. So I thought that that was cute up there. Um, but yeah, I really unpacked a lot. Like I did all of our spices yesterday. I wish I would have vlogged, but honestly, you guys, it was a mess in this kitchen. I was just trying to get stuff together. So all of this is container store and I have just like the taller things here like everyday cooking stuff i've got like my chlorophyll drops i've got my athletic greens i've got all my athletic greens up here i've got my um peak like radiant skin stuff that i've shared with you guys before that i love so i can just reach for those every day and then i have all the spices here which i think looks cute and then so we've got plates and stuff in here plates bowls basically just how the old house was i have some more like cocktail stuff up there Where's my camera not focusing? I did like, kind of did this. I would like to organize this more, but you know, I feel like there's not really a good way for that. We've got knives and then we've got, this isn't like organized by any means because we don't have all of our silverware here yet, but here is like where all of our silverware will go. So I really love that. 
and this is gonna be like miscellaneous, like my vitamins and like all that kind of stuff drawer, and I really wanna get some good stuff to organize this. Like, got my water drop, my hydrant packets, this is gonna be like smoothie stuff, um, just like random. I've got some like matcha and just random things like that in here, but I wanna organize this really good. Um, we have so much like empty cap, like cabinets still. Obviously, we just moved and like not everything's filled. Um, this is like a cute little drawer. This is like basically done with like our napkins, washcloths, heating pads, all that stuff. And then you guys like probably don't even care. This is like random. I need to organize that. Empty. And then right here, I really love that our blender and toaster can fit right here. I reach for it like daily. So it's nice because at our old place, I had to go like way up high above the fridge. So that's kind of a little rundown of the kitchen. Still very empty. We're obviously <laughs> just like getting moved in, but I want to do some like cute cooking books, like a cutting board or something like decor. I like to keep the counters really simple and plain. So I really like to keep them clean. I really just want to have like the coffee machine out, like a cute candle, things like that. But I do want to add a little bit of decor because I feel like it is a little bit white. So look at who is here. Oh my gosh. They missed you. They missed you so much. Did they? Did you miss them? <laughs> Say, I love it here. Say, I love it here. Obviously, our couch came and Winnie loves it. You guys know the hardwood situation. So we're really waiting on a ton of furniture. The only piece that has come yet that's different is the couch. So I wanted to share with you guys. I'm obsessed with it. This is like my dream couch, obviously a splurge. This is the Restoration Cloud couch but it's a little bit different it is the slope arm and it's not as wide of a seat so it's not as ignore the towel in the back when he wet paws in a new couch you know um side of it is a little bit different it's a little bit it's still like a slouchy big comfy couch and the reason we went with this for this space was because now we don't have a basement in this house and so dylan and i are big like movie tv like i love watching youtube and stuff in the living room on the tv so I, we wanted something comfortable and our last couch from six penny we loved it in the in that space but it's going to go in my office in this house because it just wasn't that comfortable so this has been a game changer dylan and i have been lounging on it all weekend and we love it so much again definitely a splurge but i wanted to share with you guys we got it in this like performance linen fabric i would have loved to do a softer fabric but honestly you guys with having a dog this is a game changer and we also didn't do it in white because i was just kind of over having a white couch so we did this like natural linen color and it's really cute um and i feel like if winnie gets on it and like her paws make a stain or something you won't be able to tell as much um but also it's like a thicker fabric you guys can like hear it you can kind of like vision what it would feel like so stains wipe off of it pretty easily also all the cushions are removable and are able to be washed so that's that winnie loves you love your new couch do you want to come outside i'll take you come on Let's go play outside in your backyard. Still scared of the hardwood here. Nothing's changed. Show them. Say, well, oh, big stretch. Say, look at my new backyard. It's really nice. Say, I really love it. We can't wait to get some patio furniture out here. We're going to put the two chairs we had at the old place, and then I think we might be getting like a little um, coffee table and little love seat. So little summer hangs out here will be so nice it was beautiful weather yesterday the temperature is kind of dropping from the rain so it's not that warm but yesterday it was 75 degrees i was in shorts and it was so nice we these foods right here we need to figure out where we're doing that but we've got all the curtains hung in here which i think you guys saw last time we also have a new rug which i'm obsessed with i love this rug um we have vintage rugs basically everywhere else in the house and i felt like I was kind of going overboard, so I just wanted like a solid rug in this room. Um, I have a coffee table coming from Lulu in Georgia. I think that's the name of the store. And then also like an accent chair for this corner. And then we're gonna do our olive tree right here, but things are back ordered and that's just how it is. I love this rug so much. I think it looks good. Um, it's like a jute rug, but it has ropes on it. So it's like much softer than an actual jute rug. I know a lot of you guys, who have bought the jute rugs, which I still love and have. Um, they like shed off onto your clothes when you sit on the floor and this one doesn't. So I will link this Rugs USA kindly sent it to us and we love it so much. I think it looks cute. We've got a TV hung. This is the frame TV. I'm so excited about it. But <laughs> of course I leave Dylan for the weekend to do a task and the TV guy comes. Also, sorry, it's kind of dark. The rain is like making it 
gloomy today. Um, I feel like the TV's hung way too high, so the TV guy's gonna come back and hang it like three, just like a little bit lower. Dylan had him center it with the wall, but we don't have a mantle on this fireplace, so I feel like it looks strange. So I'm like, we need to lower this TV just like a little bit, but I love it so far. We have dark coffee table coming and then a dark chair. So I know it's a lot of white. I know a lot of you guys comment that, but you know, it's our house and it's like my style. It's like what I like, but I really, look at Winnie at the door. Are you ready to come inside? I really love it. It's giving me like Raleigh apartment vibes all over again, but like nicer, you know? Okay, you have to sit right here. I have to wipe off your feet because it's raining. Here you go. Come right here. Sit. Good. Nope, you need to sit. You're the, one of the best dogs I've ever had. You just listen so beautifully. And that's why you get to do so much fun stuff because you're such a good listener. And sit. And you're going to get a treat. <gasps> would you like a treat? You would? Okay, well, let me wipe your paws. Okay, you can go. And don't jump on that couch. Sit down. That's very good. If you guys are wondering how we have a light couch with the dog, it's because Winnie is not a normal dog. She is an angel dog. How was going in the wash, and it literally sounds like someone is being abused upstairs, but... If you could have heard that in anything, that's what it is. It's the laundry upstairs, but I'm going to drink this coffee, um, do some work on my computer. I have a video due today and watch something on TV. I don't know what I'm going to watch yet, but some probably like a YouTube vlog or something. Um, it just has background noise. And then I'm going to do a PR unboxing because you guys look at this. Um, but first I'm going to do coffee, smoothie, and then we'll do that. Obviously just moved in so we don't have the fridge stocked with groceries and such. And with the weather getting warmer, I've been loving having a smoothie in the morning. So I have an order in from Daily Harvest. I have a ton of their smoothies. And then we've also got some oat, oat why did I just say it like that? Oat bowls. And I think I'm gonna do a smoothie. Let's see. I think I'm feeling something sweet, so we'll go with the mango and papaya smoothie today. And I'm so excited to be working with them in today's video because I used to do these all the time in college. So this is like a total full circle and I'm so excited because I feel like with spring and summer around the corner, smoothies are like my absolute go-to. Set up this blender. And what I love about Daily Harvest is that they make it super easy to like stack your home fridge and freezer with really real good fruits and vegetables for you instead of just like a lot of junk but it's also like super on the go and super quick and easy to maintain especially if you have like an early job and you go into the office this is like a really good option for you i have out some orange juice since this is like a sweeter smoothie i'm gonna mix it with orange juice you can do whatever type of liquid you want you can do your favorite type of milk you can do water like whatever right on the package which also love the packaging it's good for you and for the planet um, i love how they have every single ingredient that's in this package so there's no hidden ingredients no hidden like, you know, bad stuff in here. It's just literally what they have exactly on here. I have my smoothie here. I'm just gonna pour my orange juice right into here. So then I'm just going to put it in my blender. This on here. I also love how flexible their plans are, which is nice because obviously everybody's different. So you can do weekly or monthly deliveries and you can do nine to 26 items. And then they're flexible for deliveries, um, ability to like add items. You can change your box size or selection or even skip a week. Also gluten-free, dairy-free and plant-based, which is amazing and none of the junk ever. There's no gums, there's no preservatives and there's no artificial anything. All the ingredients are on the side of the container like I showed you guys and there are over a hundred options for any time of day. A little taste test on here with you guys because I've never had this flavor, but I know I'm going to love it. All of theirs are so good. I haven't had a smoothie yet that I haven't liked. Mm. 
It's so good. I will have the code on the screen here for you guys. I'll also have it linked down below in the description as well as the code for just like easy access. Um, but you can use the code Rach Ratkey and it gets you up to $40 off your first box with Daily Harvest. So check them out. You guys will not regret. They have such good smoothies. And I feel like sometimes going to the store and buying all the stuff for smoothie ingredients and all that stuff can add up. So it's nice that everything's just like in here for like a really well tasting, good put together smoothie. All you have to do is add liquid. So check them out. Again, thank you Daily Harvest for sponsoring today's video. And I'll have the code linked below. Again, Rach Ratkey up to $40 off your first box with Daily Harvest. Check them out. We're gonna do an unboxing. Also, it looks like I have on pants on, but I promise I do. I have like sh little shorts on, but this new t-shirt, I just got it from Revolve. I actually slept in it last night, but I wore it out the day before with some biker shorts. I got a medium large. I probably could have sized down, but look how cute it is. And it's like pretty affordable. I think it's like 40 bucks. So I'll link it for you guys. It's really cute. I'm gonna grab my smoothie and we're gonna do a little unboxing. All right. We have a lot of stuff. A lot of it is Revolve. And I think I'm gonna save Revolve for a separate haul or a separate vlog, like a huge Revolve haul. So we'll definitely do that. All this is Revolve, which I'm so excited about. So we'll save that. I will show you this because I need to open it. I ordered a bunch. I think I ordered like four or five of these off Revolve. They also have them at like Ulta and stuff. It's the way um, hand wash and lotion. I already have them all out in the bathrooms but the kitchen i have the asop hand soap and lotion and then i figured in all the bathrooms we could do this they're like a luxe hand soap they're so good and they smell really really good we've been using them the past few days and i really really like those okay so this is revolve this needs to go let's see what this stuff is a friend amanda sent me a package because she couldn't make it on my bachelorette and I have, I have a feeling I know what this is. We did like a lingerie party, but like a lot of the girls did pajamas because they know I love pajamas, but she kind of, oh my God. this is so funny. <laughs> she sent me underwear, that's, <laughs> wait, these are kind of cute. It's like this lace pair of underwear that says Mrs. Ottenreath on the crotch. Amanda Boney, gotta love her. Okay, and then she's <laughs> Wait, why are these like cute? <laughs> this pair of underwear. Look at this photo of Dylan, he looks cute. <laughs> I'm literally laughing, I have to send this to her. I'm also laughing at the fact that I'm at the point where on the internet I roll out of bed and I just like film and then I post it. Like this is why I wore to bed, you guys, so brush my teeth and do my skincare so anyways okay this is from revolve but actually i'm gonna open this now because i think i need to get one size smaller so i'll probably have to return this yeah this is the meow corset i wore um this same corset different print in la and it was like my favorite top i've ever owned I mean, I still have it, so I still own it, but I wanted to get this one because I thought it would be cute because visitors coming in two weekends and we're going to do some fun activities in Nashville and I thought this would be really cute. So I'm gonna try this on. If it doesn't fit, I'm gonna get the extra small, which is the size of my other one and I ordered a small for some reason. So I need to try that on. Anything that I talk about and show that's clothing, I will link for you guys, um, but just know that there's a huge Revolve haul coming in the next video probably, and um, I always have my Revolve favorites linked down below for you guys, so anyways. Okay, next up I got a pair of shoes from Nike, which I got off of GOAT. I wanted like a new fun pair of sneakers, and I got this pair of, these are the Nike Dunk Lows in the Sale Light Bone Cashmere. I get a size seven and a half. Oh, these are so good. So good. I'm obsessed with these. I wanted something neutral and I loved how it had like the off-white like gummy colored bottom. I'm just like so into these. Wow, these are so good. I hope they fit. I'm gonna try them on in a second. But a lot of you guys always ask me where I get a lot of my sneakers and it's nine times out of 10, either Go or Revolve. Goat does this thing where they authenticate it and they make sure that like what you're getting is the real deal because some of these sneakers can get to be a lot of money. So they make sure they're like authenticated and stuff and they go through a process and then they send them to you. So I always buy on Goat because it's just easier and I just know like 
what I'm getting will be good. That's where I get all my Yeezy slides and everything like that. So, okay, next up we've got a package from Poppy, which I'm so excited about. You guys know I love Poppy. I've been drinking them for a while. They sent me really, really cute box. They also sent me two more. These are also from Poppy, so I'm guessing it's just like cases of their drinks. And this one, oh, so cute. Join the prebiotic party. So cute, right? So Poppy, I drink when I'm like in the mood for something sweet, but I don't want like something like unhealthy. Like I don't want to eat like ice cream or something like that. I'll have a Poppy at night. Sometimes after dinner is like a little dessert and I pour it over ice. My two favorite flavors are definitely the raspberry rose and the orange, but there's some new ones in here I haven't tried. Like I've never tried their watermelon or their grapefruit. I feel like grapefruit would be so good, like with some vodka and lime. But then it's like, Rachel, like that's defeating them. <laughs> Adding alcohol to my healthy drink, but you know? Helps your gut, it's like a prebiotic drink. So whenever I drink them, my stomach always feels better. Like it actually does help. This box right here, I already kind of like looked into it last night because I was so excited. But um, Shop Alley Grace Denim sent me some jeans. She sent me two more pair, they're, they're not in the mail yet, but I got the first pair. If you guys don't know, she does like custom Levi's to your exact body. So you literally take measurements of your body, you send them in to her, and she like will make you the perfect pair of jeans. So these, like they're literally so cute. I actually already tried these on and they fit so good, but I wanted to talk about them. So they look like they're black, but they're actually like a really, really, really dark navy blue color. And they're like an old, pair of Levi's you guys can see. She puts her little name on there and they fit so incredible. They're like a high-waisted um, kind of tapered leg bottom pair of denim. So I'm so excited about these. I thought I would share. She does like custom openings. So sometimes she'll be accepting orders and sometimes she won't. It's kind of just like made to order situation. So um, make sure you follow her over on Instagram. She's always posting stuff and she'll always post like when her um, customs are open for order and when they're not. So just follow up with that. I am so excited about this. This package is from Set Active and they came out with a new collection that's like Aspen theme. So like Colorado theme, which is fun. So cute. First up is their Aspen collection. So they sent, oh my God, I'm so excited. The cutest beanie, super cute beanie. It says Set Aspen. The quality is really, really nice too. First situation, we've got a green set. We've got a tank. Oh my God, this feels like butter this is so good so set down here i got a size small and then i wear small basically in all their stuff this is the sport body collection i'll just link the aspen like collection below for you guys so you know but look at how cute this is a new style bra for me i've never tried this style so i'm excited i actually need to do a workout today so maybe this will motivate me and then i've got the leggings size small as well in this like cute green color oh my god this is so good i don't know if this is gonna fit it looks a little small i probably should have done a medium but it's like a corset bra top so it like kind of has like a cutout for your boob area obviously and then i got the leggings in a small i got the shirt it's like a little cropped tee that matches as well so that is so cute and then last up we've got Oh my god, this is so good. One shoulder long sleeve. Color is like a really, really, really light green. It almost looks tan. And I love my one shoulder bra, but the long sleeve is so good. And then I got the shorts to go with that size small sport body collection. Like how cute would this be with some sandals like walking the beach in like early spring? I need a beach trip, you guys, ASAP, even though I was just in Cabo. <laughs> I need to go to Florida. Amazon, I've been making random orders here and there, just like whenever I realize something new that we need for the house, um, I just get on Amazon. So I got a whole new set of kitchen utensils because I feel like ours are just like all over the place. So I will link these. They were like $14, I think, for the whole set. And I liked how they were just like a tan color. Also got this huge thing of a 12 pack of glass food storage containers. Our, um, like Tupperware situation at the old house was like getting to be bad. Like I needed to just like start over. Um, how do I use this? So I'm gonna open these up and put them in the dishwasher as well. But I will add these in the description for you guys if you're 
interested, both super affordable. I have a big package from Mask Skincare, which I found out about this brand through Maggie. Um, she uses a lot of their skincare stuff, and when I went to visit her in Boston, she gave me some of her stuff, and they reached out. CBD Skincare Company, and they sent me literally so much good stuff. Um, some of my favorite products, I really love their Luminous Face Serum. I use this at night sometimes. Um, also, their lip their lip products this is their lipstick organic cbd and putting this on at night like this is a sleep through the night under eye mask and sleep aid kit which i'm so excited to try this um this is a spotless bath bomb oh my god she sent <gasps> wait i'm so excited for this i love it oh my god you guys this on my jaw are you kidding me <laughs> I am so excited right now. I've seen one of these on Revolve and I've been like wanting to order it. Oh my God. Oh. Are you kidding me? This feels literally incredible. I'll link her um, website below because you guys need to check out some of her stuff. She had, she sent me like all of these under eye um, mask and then all of these like face sheet masks. So check her out. She's like the sweetest. We've got Steve Madden sent me some boots, which I'm excited to see them. See these in person. Oh, these are so cute. Some white cowgirl boots. So cute. I have a taller pair. And so I'm excited to have like a shorter pair. I feel like all my boots are really, really tall. Super cute. Thank you, Steve Madden. I'm gonna just kind of pick up the house. I'll take you guys along with me today, obviously. It's kind of rainy out, it's a Monday, um, but I'm trying to like be productive. Dylan has like a half day at work today. So he'll be home and I think we're gonna do like a Trader Joe's run and some errands and things like that. Our kitchen table and chairs I thought were coming with the couch, but they actually are coming this weekend. So, which is fine. Um, but soon we'll have a table and chairs to sit at and then our pod will be coming. So all of our furniture will be here. In a little bit, I just got ready. Dylan's on his way home from work and we're gonna go do some errands. I also just like unboxed all of those packages and got all the boxes broke down and stuff to take to recycling. But I wanted to show you guys my outfit because I actually put on something besides sweatpants today. So my hair is like bothering me today and it's raining. So it's kind of like frizzier than normal, but Anyways, okay, so I'm wearing I have this bag, which I haven't carried in a while. This is the, I don't know names of bags, you guys are the worst, but this is from Balenciaga. I feel like I get a lot of questions about this bag because I feel like it's not Balenciaga's like original design, maybe. So, but it is Balenciaga. And then my blazer, I actually just recently got this from the Frankie shop. I wanted to invest in like a few really good quality, good blazers. So the Frankie shop is like my new obsession. I want everything off the website, but it's pretty pricey. So this really cute. And then this um, little just like ribbed tank is from Zara. It's like a few years old. And then how can I show you my pants? I'm struggling because I don't have a full length mirror yet. So maybe I could go right here. These like vintage Levi's, which are from Tula Boutique. It's the shop I talked about in the last vlog. I went and stopped by there on my way out of town. They have like really, really cute stuff, but they also have an online website. So these are from Tula. And then I'm wearing just like some, I have them like cuffed with some ankle socks, which are from Aritzia. And then these shoes are revolved. They're Vejas, I think, but I'll link everything I can. Cute little fit, and we're gonna go do coffee, Trader Joe's, Home Depot. Just the good old, the good old moving vlogs. Wait, show them the haircut. <laughs> the only thing is like, I can't tell if this camera's focused. Could you do like a little, like something special for the camera? <laughs> we're about to leave, Dylan just got home, but we put this rug right here. I just got this rug off of this like vintage website i feel like it's a little out of our comfort zone like we've got some color but i wanted like a long runner right here and i think it's super cute and i like how why do I have no jacks? what why do I, have no jacks? I don't know i think some of our clothes are missing because i can't find some of my stuff either but anyways i thought this was cute so 
that's that. Managed to save just a little bit of money. I already lost. So when we're renting this townhome, if you guys didn't know, but I already lost my key. Like the landlord gave us each a key and I've already lost mine. And I lost the other houses. And Dylan loves me for it. Good start. <laughs> And I'm always like so organized and like never lose anything. Don't you agree? Like I always know where everything is. Yeah. Also, Dylan, these have been in my thing. I don't know if you knew this. Oh shit. I don't smoke cigars. <laughs> yeah, I know you don't. All right, we're going to get some lunch and then run some errands. So that's that. That's that. Oh, can you go run and put this inside before I forget? No. I knew you'd just say no. I just wanted to ask. <laughs> Why, what the fuck? I'm in the mood to like annoy you. What'd you get? The trio? Red salt. Someone's day drinking on a Monday. <laughs> Came to this uh, taco shop. It looks really good. We got some tacos and then we got their trio dip. You guys, the food in Nashville is incredible compared to Colorado. <laughs> Another hit. What would you rate? Uh, 7.7. 7. I think I'd rate a 7. I think I would rate a 7. Really? Here it is. It's called Rancho's... Wait, what's it called? Oh, paint. Wait, what's this place called? <laughs> crossing the street legally. Illegally. Poncho and lefties. Wait, what's it called? Honcho and lefties? Poncho. Poncho. Oh, I'm freezing. It was literally 80 degrees last night. Or yes, yesterday. Yes, now it's, I would say it's probably 40. No, I bet it's like 51. Well, I wonder what's crazy. Colorado, it would be like 35 and it would feel like this. Yeah. Why? super cute they have like just like a lot of stuff for home but i really like one of these cutting boards for the kitchen i was gonna order one off etsy but i really like this circled one okay we just got home from doing some errands. We went to Trader Joe's. I didn't get a ton of stuff because I honestly wanted to come home and like write down recipes and things that we wanted to make. We really just got like snack stuff, not really a ton of stuff for meals. But anyways, I got, I'll show you guys, some sourdough bread. This is really, really yummy. We were gonna go to Publix, but I was feeling a good Trader Joe's run. We've got some romaine for salads and like little wraps. I got some tomatoes cilantro i'm gonna make my homemade um salsa which i'm excited about oh dylan we didn't get chocolate for chocolate covered strawberries what we didn't get any chocolate for chocolate covered strawberries Ooh, guess we can't make any. i guess you'll have to go back out <laughs> okay strawberries dylan got um this like ground espresso blend. He wanted like a dark roast, so he got this. Here you go. Do you want to explain? Yeah, you. Yeah. Do you want to explain your purchase? For espresso. Why did you get that? Because we have medium roast. <laughs> okay, next up we've got some garlic. We've got some mini tortillas because we're gonna do breakfast tacos. Three avocados. A shallot. <laughs> Just one. Lemons. What's that called? Salami. No, that's not salami. Spanish brand deli section. What? This is salami. It's none all salami. That, none of this is actually salami. Oh, this one's salami. This is ham and this is chorizo. Did you know that when you bought it? Yep. No, you didn't. Oh, I got these, which I'm excited about. Sometimes for like lunch, I want just like a little snack or something like cheesy crack or something. And so they have these, um, your kid, you did not get those. <laughs> They're so gross. We're gonna have them You didn't even tell them what it was. They saw. He got these like freezer 
I don't know what that Auntie is. Auntie Ann pretzels. Is that what that is? Yeah. Okay, Winnie. <laughs> that is what Okay, I got these because I thought they would be like really good like on the go snacks. It's just like mozzarella balls and it's three little ones in a container. So I love those as a little snack. Um, a cucumber. I got this new um, seasoning. It's a green goddess seasoning and I really like the green goddess dressing. So this, they said you can put it on vegetables, rice, fish, eggs, or use as a dip in a dressing. So I'm gonna add this to my spices. Um, we've got some limes. We've got Greek vanilla yogurt. And then Dylan got a cheese board. Um, okay, we've got some eggs. I got, this is one of my favorite dressings from Trader Joe's, the Asian style spicy peanut vinaigrette. It's so good. Um, we've got a red onion for salsa. We've got some blueberries. We've got um, green onion, which I love on anything like breakfast related. Um, butter. Got some bacon. This bacon is so good from Trader Joe's, the uncured apple smoked bacon. It's like really thick, and if you cook it good, like long enough, it's crunchy. Two honey crisp apples as like a good little snack. And then we've got some fresh Parmesan cheese. So that's everything we got. Oh, and we got some tortilla chips for salsa. Like I said, it's nothing really to make like full on meals. Like we didn't get like um, sauces or meats or anything like that, but just like a little start. The grocery store was so crowded that we didn't feel like being in there any longer. Oh, we also got milk. We're about to make some at home lattes. We both really want a coffee. I'm making a flat white. Flat white? Dylan has an attitude right now. You've got attitude, boy. She doesn't own these homes. Did you know that? She does own this home. No, Tana doesn't own this home. She's just the realtor. The owner is the builder. He came and he told me he owns these. Oh shit. Right? Or does the realtor own it? I think Tana owns, owns it. I don't think Tana owns it. Please don't make a mess with that. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna make mine. No, first. please, please don't. I'm doing it. No. I'm doing it. It's not even on, it's on my setting. Why did you change it again? I didn't. It's supposed to be 12 and 15, that's what Maggie said. It's on a different setting. And I learned something that we need to do, sorry. What? You're supposed to like, make, you're supposed, no. You're, this, you're supposed to use like a thing and it takes out all the clumps. I think you're on crack. No. Honey, Dad's kind of silly. Dad is cuckoo. Yes, he is, honey. Dad's cuckoo. Oh, that looks good. That's perfect because it's supposed to start brewing at eight seconds, and that's when it did. So I think we fixed it. Ooh, look at that, Dylan. Okay, I just got this package when we got home from Beach Riot the called the Tropical Glow Collection. I'm guessing this is what the one they sent me looks like. I get size small in the tops and medium in bottom. Oh my God, this is so this cute. Up, Dylan, look at this swimsuit top. Look how cute this is. Oh, nice. Do you like it? Yeah, can you hand me a... Uh... There you go. Is this a teaspoon? Uh, yes. Or a tablespoon? Yeah, yeah, a teaspoon smaller. I don't know what I was just saying. Okay, and the bottoms are so good because they come up high. Oh, look at how cute this is gonna be. Look, Dylan, for our honeymoon, are you kidding? Look, imagine me as a wife in this. Oh, wow. <laughs> Anyways, I'll, I'll link this swimsuit below. It's so freaking cute. I love Beach Riot. I wear medium and bottom, small and top again for size reference. And then also when we were out, we went to a store called White Mercantile. We've been in already twice since we've been here. It's like one of our favorites. Got a few things to show you guys. Um, I got Sarah, or I got Carson, 
a little book for Easter and they wrapped it up really cute, but it's a really, really cute book. I'm gonna send it in the mail. So I need to set it over here. It's Carson's first Easter coming up. Um, it's called Beer Soap, but I think it's just for your body, right, Dylan? Yeah. <laughs> Why did you say yeah like that? <laughs> I don't know. It's Big Texas Beer Soap. And I really like it because it's sandalwood scent. It smells really good. And then I also got this candle. They had this candle burning in the store. It's Santaloom, sandalwood, amber, cedar, and clove. I also got this cutting board, which I've been wanting like an old vintage, like wooden cutting board for a while. And I almost last night actually ordered one of these on Etsy and I'm glad I waited because this is gonna look so cute. I was thinking like somewhere behind here, just like break up all the like tile and white. This is where I was thinking for it to go. Oh yeah, that's cute. Yeah, yeah, nice. yeah but what's that fall? It's not going to. See? Do we like it or do we hate it? I kind of like it. We should have got- You don't care about what I'm saying. You're just like worried about your coffee. No, I really do care. Comment what you guys would do because we just tried to put it on that shelf. It doesn't fit. But I'm gonna do my big like paper mache bowl on that shelf and then maybe some like greenery or something. Actually, no, we're not gonna do greenery because I don't want to add too much color, but I kind of liked it right here. Okay, I think that that looks cute. And then we're gonna do some like cooking books and maybe a pot with all these utensils in there. I think that's cute. If you don't think it's cute, just like don't say it. <laughs> You're like really bothering me. What kind of coffee are you making? Okay, stop whispering and just use one of those then. This was a waste of money. But next time you ask to buy something like this, Did no. you do yours for 30 seconds? I mean, 40 minutes later, I hope you like it. Yeah, it could be better. Those, these, do not buy that. these. Do not buy these, they don't work. No, it's, they, they probably won't work. <laughs> it's probably me. Oh, it's definitely it's you. Me. You guys, look at Winnie. Oh, she heard us. She was looking. What was she doing? She was looking up at the bird. Look at our little sweet angel in her backyard. I'm gonna knock and see if she like does anything. I'm gonna scare her. No, don't scare her. Oh, she sees us. <laughs> She's like, mom and dad, stop embarrassing me. Hi, Winnie. Let's go. You have to wipe her paws. Winnie. Okay, I just washed all of this stuff. So I'm gonna put all of these away. I'm obsessed with these, you guys. I think it was like 30 bucks for so many of them. And then all the lids just snap into place. I love putting my food in glass instead of plastic. I feel like it just keeps it more fresh. And then look at this super cute mug that I got, or my mom got me when we went to Cabo. It's from Starbucks and it's so cute for coffee. Cabo was like so fun, you guys. I definitely wanna go back. I wanna go there with Dylan and stay at a cute little resort. It was like one of the prettiest places I've been in a while, so. I'm gonna put this up and then we're also gonna make a dinner. The uh, CMA awards are on tonight, so we're gonna watch that. We've just been sitting on the couch. I was watching some YouTube. We just had premarital counseling. Nice. We talked about, what did so we talk your, about? It says your card is expired. Please link a new card to complete this transaction. That card is not expired. Here's my wallet. But is that the right account number? Yeah, that's my debit card, so it should be. Um, what if that would have just shattered that? I would have been so upset. This is only the second time using our kitchen. I know. Like for a meal meal. Okay, step number one. 